Look who's here! It's George. And if you guys ever thought George was grumpy, I mean, you're really gonna think he's grumpy because he's in pain. Actually, I'm not in pain because there's things called Percocets. But um, first, I want to say thank you to everyone who wished me well on Facebook and even Twitter. The yeah. folks who out there who don't follow us on Twitter should because it's actually entertaining. I was talking cash shit the whole way through the UFC fight and uh, pretty much through the surgery. But, yeah, I just want to say thank you for all of you lovely folks who said get better soon. See George in his birthday suit behind us in the background. Anyway, let's talk about UFC, <laughs> UFC 126. Um First fight we're gonna, I guess we're going to talk about is uh, Miguel Torres versus Antonio. So what were your thoughts on that, man? I mean, I, I mean, in all honesty, I wanted Antonio to win, but we all saw what happens when you fight a guy who has literally, what was it, a 13-inch reach advantage on you? Yeah, I mean, six, and, inches, six inches of height and then like 13 inches Yeah, of it was just, I mean, a Antonio did at the end of the third round what he should have done at the first and second is try to press and get inside. But yeah. I mean, the little dude's got heart. You know, obviously, he, broke, he got his nose broken, kept fighting. I mean, I, I'm more disappointed in Miguel Torres, to be honest. Yeah, I, I, yeah, because, I mean, you would think that he would... I mean, Antonio's a great fighter. I mean, don't get so But you think that after he was struggling as of late, that he would go in there and finish off him. You know what I mean? Um, and he did, you know? I mean, he yeah. really didn't do it. I, so. I, I think the UFC served up Antonio on a platter for Miguel Torres, for Torres to show the world why, because this is Torres' UFC debut, and everyone who doesn't watch the WEC doesn't know who he is, and this was his chance to make a statement, and the only statement he made is, I train in the same camp as GSP, and I have a good jab, too. Yeah. <laughs> now, Ellenberger versus Aroka, what did you think about that? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't, I'm, I mean, I'm not going to really go into it. I mean, I'm not going to waste my time going into it. it was, I, I don't know it was, how that judge had Roca winning all three rounds. I'm not, I'm not even, I don't even, well, I don't, I don't get it. Uh, I mean, Roca's I'm, nasty on the ground. If that dude ever learns how to punch, he'd beat the hell out of Jake He would have, you know, and, that, and I thought early, because I was like, you know, Ellenberg's got great hands. I thought he might have laid the guy out, but he wasn't able to do that. But um, he ended up winning by split decision. Now, John Jones versus Ryan Bader. And then we get into the fights that really were just entertaining. People wanted to see. I, I, I'm going to tell you what. He's going to beat the shit out of Shogun. I don't give a shit what any of you say. <laughs> it's just, I'm so, look at John. Dude, he's calm. He's composed. He's well-spoken. He's to relaxed. Mm -hmm. He's just like. Well, I think what a lot of people, I, I, a lot of people freaked out about this guy. This guy, Ryan Bader is a strong guy. A great wrestler. Great on the ground. And John Jones manhandled him. Yeah, John Jones embarrassed him. He just manhandled him. I don't. There was not a point in time where I said, "Okay, you know what? Bader has a chance." I I never thought it. He's like a big ass snake. He really is. And okay, that's fucked up. You think uh, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Okay, laugh, take jabs at me, throw it up on the comment board. Fuck you guys. <laughs> but you know what? He, he's like I mean, a big ass snake. He's like a big ass snake. Okay. But uh. I, I just did you ever see Bader no. didn't have a chance? No. No. At all. John um, Jones is a phenomenal athlete and yeah. I think that's what, what the UFC is starting to get. John Jones has the one thing and I think Kevin and I have discussed this. No matter the sport, it seems like the guys who have the freakish wingspans right. just they have a better advantage. Look at Rajon Rondo. Right. Rajon Rondo has a wingspan of somebody who's like seven one. It's bizarre. It's it's yeah. crazy how much a wingspan can make this a difference. This is what? John Jones is eight feet. Of uh, he's got this he wingspan had a of somebody who's seven feet yeah. tall. Yeah, seven feet tall. He had a ten inch eight reach feet. advantage. Fuck. <laughs> right, I know that was a little bit, but uh, he he had him 84 inch reach, and then Bader had a 74 inch reach. That's it's, a it's huge crazy. difference. So, for you people who are Shogun fans, obviously you saw the thing, and he's fighting Mar in what March? Yeah, March he's fighting Shogun. In no, Jersey? I don't think is he. Yeah, wow. Because uh, because Correct Evans if we're wrong, Evans we're blew wrong. out his knee, so the uh, 120 129. Oh, so that's what's Rashad going on. Evans, Yeah, Rashad oh. Evans blew out his knee, so Jones is stepping in. Okay, I didn't know that. All right. So, so here's my question: Does Shogun stand a chance? Seriously, I mean, uh, does you're he gonna stand get a chance? Ri you're going to get your asshole ripped. Okay, that's you're fine. Not, but, you that, know, that's fine. You, but, but tell me how. Tell tell me the weakness. If you believe Shogun's going to win, tell me how. And don't just go because he's a better fighter. No, no. Literally, what hole do you see in John Jones' game? That Shogun's gonna be able to. I, I think I, I, now I'm, I'm not saying that I'm thinking Shogun will win, but Shogun is crazy at BJJ. I mean, if he okay. gets him on the ground, he can submit him. You know what I'm saying? Now, it, it, it just doesn't seem like because of who John Jones has gone up, there's been any weakness in his game. But now he's going up against Shogun, who is fucking nasty on the so, fucking ground. So Shogun's best bet to beat John Jones is to get this on the ground. To get this on the ground. How get do you get a collegiate level athlete of his ability on the mat? I don't know. How's he gonna get him on the ground? Shoot so that's that's what I'm asking. <laughs> I, 
shoot him in his pinky toe. Oh, shit. Anyway, but, that's uh, enough about that um, fight. Next fight, Forrest Griffin versus Rich Franklin. Um, uh, it's kind of like what I said it was going to be, man. I, I, that's, yeah, right there. Kevin said it all because that's yeah. about how I thought it was. It wasn't exciting. Yeah. It wasn't great. It was yeah. like, oh, okay. I just figured that he was a much bigger guy, really, in stature. If you really, I mean, you don't think of it, but he, Forrest Griffin is a big guy. He's 240 in the offseason. You know what I'm saying? When he's not, you know, I'm saying offseason, like he's a bodybuilder and shit. But he's 240 pounds. That's a big guy coming yeah. down to that weight. And, uh, and, he blanketed Rich Franklin. He controlled the tempo of the fight, in my opinion. And, uh, and he got this, he got the unanimous decision. Now, Anderson Silva versus <laughs> Vitor Belfort. Okay, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm just, wow, I'm stuttering. And I'm stuttering because what amazes me in sports in general are people who are just salty as shit when their team or their fucking fighter does not win or their favorite athlete may not make it to the hall of fame we see it all the time george and i get attacked by fanboys all the fucking time that just are gargling with their athletes nuts in their mouth and they just go crazy but this guy okay and i know we're going to lose a viewer over this because this guy smock 24 is going to be like fuck you guys but i'm you're going to have to say fuck you guys because when you put up comments like you did it's crazy sylvia not silva okay this is what he says Sylvia cheats. It's Silva, first of all. And it's how he wins most of his fights. I'm surprised no one has seen it because it's been done in multiple fights. Maybe I should be an announcer. You shouldn't be an announcer if you claim what you should probably be a referee. If you want he's claiming that Sylvia Sylvia always puts a guy in a head triangle, a leg head triangle. Then he throws one or two illegal straight down elbows into the guy's head. So he's saying he's throwing illegal elbows. Kind of like what you saw John Jones do with Matt Hamill. Well, if you saw that fight, you saw that the moment that John Jones did that, he stopped. You know what I'm saying? He, he, you, they warn you. If you do one, they'll, they'll stop you. So if the ref is right up on the fight, okay? If the ref is right up on the fight, he's going to see if, if Silva is throwing an illegal well, elbow. Let's just, just finish with this, because I'm so, sorry, at no point did I see a head triangle in this fight. Right, and uh, he says, it's hard for the ref to call because he's throwing them in, in, in every once in a while, so you have to give up. So he's saying that when Silva fights all these people, gets him in this this leg head triangle, he throws illegal elbows, and the people are forced to give up. I, I mean, I, I don't know. I didn't and maybe I'm part Steve, of the fight. I'm Stevie Wonder, or Ray Charles, or one of them motherfucking niggas. I don't know who, but... Uh, Vitor Belfort, okay, when he got that front snap kick in his jaw, okay, I I know that when Anderson Silva starts doing this shit, I know there's usually probably about a minute left before you're going to see the bottom of the opponent's foot that he's fighting. And you know what? He threw that kick so fast, and I know everybody who watched the fight that night was like, what happened? You know, including Vitor. Uh, and the ref was like, oh think, shit, he kicked him. I think Vitor said, let me throw your feet. And then Muffling Anderson said, okay, pow! He, he, he did it so quick, and you know what? It, this, this guy is it's like... It's I don't almost, even know what fight... Okay, Snooky 24, Snatch him, Smock him. Yeah, what fight were you watching? Right. I mean, this, That didn't even happen in this fight. Do you have John Jones and Anderson Silva mixed up? Because I know they're both black, and it gets confusing right. sometimes. But, <laughs> and they both have long arms. Right. And look like spider monkeys. I mean, I, I think, honestly, I think he has his fights confused. Because they did warn John Jones in his fight about dropping the 12 to 6 elbows. Because right. he did it again. And he lost the fight. Right. But but this of, this fight, when, when he fought um, Bader, he, he threw some 12 to 6 and the... Uh, Big uh, the black dude, the ref, um, Herb Dean came over and said, "Look, you gotta watch the elbows." Right. He said, "Okay, sir." So maybe that's what he's I, I think about. he's got his matches mixed up. That's it. Correct. Okay. This is we're wrong. Smock twenty four, but we're gonna move. Actually, anyway. no. Fuck you. We, I don't care. Stop watching because you're ignorant. <laughs> right. If you can't right. take the time, look. If y'all get on us for fucking up names, right? Uh -huh. Shorty, you didn't even have the right fight, so stop watching our shit. Right. Just stop. Yeah. Um. Bottom line is, is this: Anderson Silva is fucking crazy. Okay. Word on the street is now that Anderson. Silva won this fight. If, and I don't even think this is a big if, more like when GSP beats Jake Shields, mm -hmm. that's your next fight. Yeah. And by next fight, I mean GSP versus Anderson Silva. So here's my question. Do you make it a three-round fight? Do you make it a five-round fight? And what weight do they fight at? I don't want to see if What weight do they fight at? What cool, man. Silva at? walks around at 217 pounds. Right, but it's got to be a catchweight fight. Buck 90? A buck 90? No, that's above middleweight. Okay. It would be GSP. If it, if it was a catchweight fight, you would have to 175, say 175, 180. Well, 75. It'd have to be 180. 
Okay. But that's Silver sucking more weight. Why doesn't GSP just say fuck? You know, and is. this is not hating on GSP, but why? He only fights his fucking welterweight. Well, but here's, now, now, here's, At the, here, here's the beautiful thing. Right. When you are contractually locked up to the UFC and you absolutely have no choice as to who you fight, the UFC is going to make this fight happen. Right. So they're gonna fight. Maybe the maybe they just will go weigh whatever you want. But you two are gonna fight, and I hope you do it. I really do, because honestly, GSP's got the only shot at beating Anderson Silva. And I know all you people are like, what? What? I, Can't happen. I, I just I don't, I don't see it. He's got a bit, dude. If Chael, GSP has not fought a guy like okay, I mean, GSP is he's a badass. He's the best welterweight ever. He's probably the best pound for pound fighter. I don't know. I mean, people could argue that, but he's going up against. Arguably not the best pound for pound fighter. But this is the fight we want to see. This is this is the well, only fight see it. in the UFC. If you could tell me any two fighters, this is the fight I want to see. Yeah, I, I, I agree. So it was a great fight. July fourth. Maybe yeah, happy. Independence yeah. Day. Fireworks. Memorial Day. Fireworks in the ring. Memorial I mean, Day. No, that shit's crazy. No, that shit would be weak. Uh, I don't know. I'm just trying to think. Well, I don't. When's GSP and fucking Jake Shields gonna fight? I don't know. That's what UFC one coming up. Anyway, anyway, maybe it's Christmas. Who knows?